So Japan the Maniacs, looking for that new special way to learn Japanese that's going to totally work this time and make sure everything is super easy. Unlike all those other times you tried studying Japanese. Um, so, uh, we're, we're combining English subtitles with Japanese subtitles. Uh, kind of looks like this. Japanese on the top, English on the bottom. If you go into VLC, subtrack, it's its own separate subtitle track. And it's, it's pretty easy to do. So, how are we going to do it? We're going to grab Eggy Sub for the other uh, subtitle editing. We're going to grab uh, FFmpeg, and I'll put a link to this in the description. And the one you're going to download is FFmpeg hyphen master hyphen latest hyphen win 64 hyphen GPL. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little bit long. Uh, then you grab the, uh, the zip file, go into the, um, was it the bin? And then we got ffmpeg.exe. We're going to copy that over to our folder here. Then we're going to find one of those special sites that has uh, Japanese subtitles. You're going to download that. Then I've actually renamed it right here to uh, JPN sub.srt. So now we're going to just, um, and we have all this in here. I'm going to grab the directory by uh, clicking in like a white space next to the directory. It's highlighted. You can just uh, copy or control C that. Open up like a command prompt or a terminal. We're going to not, not just do that. Uh, we're going to CD for change directory and go right in there. So now we're inside of that folder. And we have our video file in there, which we downloaded from other websites for uh, Zetsubo Sensei. And we're going to just, uh, what was that? So we're just type in um, ffmpeg hyphen i for input. And then we'll type in an s, we'll just hit tab. And that's going to give us the video file. Type in S, do tab again. We're going to replace that MKV with uh, ASS. Now, ASS is like a, it's like a better version of SRT. It's a better kind of subtitle file. And what we're doing here is we're calling FFmpeg using that MKV video file as the input and exporting its subtitle file to an ASS. I'll do that. I'm going to do its little thing here. And boom, we got a SDS uh, 01.ass. So we're going to do, we're going to double click, and open up that ass file with Aggy sub, which we totally downloaded. Uh, if we scroll up here, you're going to see all the English subtitles, all the timing. And the middle there, it actually is like a style. So each one of these is part of like a, a style set, sort of like Word. Um, we have our Japanese subtitle file, which is really just like a text file because SRTs are like super basic, but, um, yeah, I'll just right click, open that up with Aegisub. sub and Aegisub sub, um, I do a, uh, so you could select some of this, like you hold down control, you can select different parts. So control, I'll let's let go. Now, if you hold down shift, if I have uh, this selected, hold down shift, it's going to select this part, or this part, or this part, or this part. That's holding down just shift. Uh, we're going to do a control A right here. So it's control, hold that down, and press A as an alpha. A is an alpha. So control A, it's all copied. Uh, we'll do our little control C for copy. Control C is in Charlie. And then... We're going to do control V as in Victor. So control V. And let's take a look here. There we go. It's all copied. Uh, the only thing is it's all set to uh, style there. It's set to default. 
and most of our subtitles are going to be in SZS format, uh, not format, but style. Um, so we're going to go up into this uh, part right here, subtitle, and then styles manager, and then we're going to highlight uh, SZS, and we're going to do this um, this copy function right here. It's going to copy that style. You'll notice in the alignment part, it's going to be in the number two position at the very bottom middle. We're going to want our copy to be in the uh, the eight position, like the the top middle. Um, so we'll copy that, right, close out, and you'll notice all of our um, unstyled text from the Japanese script that's still in it highlighted. So this part right here right next to comment to the right of comment there's a little drop down we're gonna choose SCS hyphen copy it's gonna make it all that SCS format and so while it's highlighted we could do other things like we could like do timing shift times and then do like a batch shift of times if say they don't line up 100% perfectly um, that's on you if you want to take on that part I usually don't um, so yeah, these are copied in here and they're all on the top middle. So we'll do control S for save. Close out of that. And we could end it right here if we wanted to. Um, you could actually just open up your video and just drag this ass file in there. And it automatically adds a new track to your, uh, your subtitle thing. But you could do that. You've got like FFmpeg, so you can do other crap. Um, you should probably just do this bottom thing, which is uh, it's a soft sub, and it puts it into a new container. Um, you can do a hard sub, and I've got some instructions here. Uh, you may or may not need the fix sub duration thing. I, I didn't, but uh, you can also copy it into a series of uh, JPEG files, and then use those JPEGs as like... Uh, I don't know, things in like your Anki deck. Um, you will have a ridiculous amount of them. Like this is not even the full episode and it's uh, 17,000. Um, and then you can just, uh, where is that? Oh yeah. Just use this little thing in your Anki deck if you want, but I, I wouldn't say that's worth it. Um, but yeah, the thing you can do but we're just going to do this bottom one and I'm just going to copy it because I don't want to type all this because you're basically you're using the uh, the original video file the MKV files the input you're also doing another hyphen I because you're also going to use that ass file as the input and the original sub is going to be mapped to the uh, zero position you have your sub that's going to be mapped to the uh, one position I think that's how that works and then we have this hyphen C copy, which is just going to copy the uh, the audio and video portion of the codec. So it's not going to actually like re-encode your video, which makes it like super fast compared to like doing hard subs. Um, so yeah, we could just paste that in there. It takes like just like a few seconds, and it's going to add that ass file to the actual like thing and it's gonna rename it hyphen soft right here for the soft subs and if we wanted to we could grab it um, and you have the option of committing uh, copyright infringement you have that option I, I don't know if that school bell is gonna get me uh, but yeah we get this uh, track number two on here which we just uh, made um, it's just like a quirk of M uh, FFmpeg. Every time you use uh, FFmpeg, oh no, wait, I did the uh, the soft came in here. I was in a subfolder. Same thing. Um, but yeah, you do have to make a new video container anytime you use FFmpeg. You can't just like edit the original file. It's like a weird quirk. Um, yeah, you know, you have fun just. Watching English and Japanese at the same time. Like, I, I think it's helpful. Um, I've also got a few other videos on FFmpeg. And I'll link some other, like, resources in the description. 
Um, Aegi Sub does have its own automate options. I just haven't really messed with them, so you could potentially speed up this workflow a lot. Um, yeah, this other FFM fake video I have is also like a, a review of like a wrestling show. I, I liked it. That one was really good. But this British Mark, this dude, which, uh, British people, they shouldn't be allowed to talk about wrestling. He's over here like, oh, Samhain sucked. You know, and I'm over here like, okay, I've got my, my FFmpeg and uh, Samhain review. Uh, no, I liked it. But this this British Mark here, this Marky D dude, I, I like his TNA videos, but anything else, I swear, it's... It's terrible. He likes Vikingo, unironically. Let's uh, let's all take a gander at Vikingo. This little hopscotch they got here. Whoop, whoop, be doodle. Whoop. It's t I I don't like it. I don't like it. I, I especially don't like it if a British person likes it. That's I'm not a fan of that. Um. You know I could have talked about the other Japanese videos I did, but. This is more fitting. Um, yeah, and I have another FFmpeg video if you want to learn more about the uh, this command right here where it just throws it into a bunch of image files, either JPEG or PNG or whatever. Um, you know, know how it works and all that. And that's about it.